to watch exciting reviews and unboxings of precious metals in India, click subscribe and do not forget to hit the bell icon for notifications. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video I will be talking about the buyback policy. A lot of people have asked me about the buyback policy in the past so I thought it's the right time to talk about it. So let's begin the video. In front of you is a web page from Amazon.in and I have searched for gold bar. And here you can see there are a lot of gold bars from different companies with different values. So in this video I thought why not review the policies of a lot of companies from which I have purchased or some companies from which I would purchase in the future. So I have a clear vision of what they have to offer. I will be starting this video with RSBL. Here you can see a gold bar from them. Here it states Riddhi Siddhi Bullions. And for the buyback, they have mentioned that the product has lifetime buyback policy based on market rates. That was not adequate information. But if you look below, they have mentioned if you want to know more about the return and buyback policy, click here. So when you click here, you get to this page. Here they have mentioned no returns and RSBL buyback and exchange policies. So here is the exchange policy and here is the buyback policy. They have mentioned that in order to avail the buyback, you can return the product to any of the RSBL showrooms across India. And they have mentioned the list of stores with contact details below in table 1. We'll get to that. So for the buyback of gold bars, gold coins, silver bars, silver coins, we can see for gold bars you get the market price minus the 1% of market price. Market price means the spot price. So here it means that you can get 99% of the market price. Do note that in spot prices you do not include GST and making charges. So this is only spot price at 99%. For gold coins it's the same thing 99% of market price. While for silver bars and silver coins it's different. It's market price minus making charges minus 1.5%. So it is much better to buy gold coins and bars from RSBL instead of silver bars and silver coins if you want to avail the buyback policy from them. They have clearly mentioned below that the buyback policy is subject to the approval of their quality check team. Obviously they will be evaluating the product whether it's genuine. It's the same that they had dispatched. Everything gets checked here. And they've mentioned only one store. Here they mentioned our list of stores. but there's only one store that is in Mumbai. So and they haven't mentioned if we can send it via courier. For example, if I live outside Mumbai, how can I avail the buyback policy? For that I may need to contact them here. So that is a minus point. Next I will be moving on to BRPL that is Bangalore Refinery. And here it is Amazon literature. It states that exchange and buyback may be available offline as per the seller brand policy. I had to research. So I went to BRPL's website. So this is Bangalore Refinery's website. Here they mentioned that our buyback will be done on our buyback rate published on a website minus certain percentage. The percentage discount varies depending on the market condition. So that is standard procedure. Let's move to the next brand. It's Bluestone. And it's the same Amazon literature here. So I had to go to their website and upon getting there, I found out that they have lifetime exchange and lifetime buyback. For lifetime exchange, I noticed that they will not be giving you cash for it. They will be depositing the amount into your Bluestone wallet that you need to spend within 365 days. Well, that is how exchange works. You need to get something else from them. While for buyback, they had some more clarity. Here they mentioned that payment will be made via online bank transfer within 10 days of receipt of the product. But they did not mention if we need to send the product to them or how it works. Maybe ask the customer support for more details. So for coins they mentioned that if we want to exchange it we can get 100% of the value but for buyback we get 90% buyback and the amount will be adjusted upon quality checking as usual. But the good thing is that they transfer the amount directly to your bank account. Next I will be moving on to Joya Lucas. So for Joya Lucas they mentioned over here that to know more about return and buyback policy click here. So when you click here you get to this page. No returns as well same as RSBL and they have mentioned the lifetime exchange policy 
for gold and silver coins you get 100% of the benchmark gold rate it means the spot price for gold and silver but since I'm talking about the buyback let's take a look at this so for buyback they said to return the product to any Joy Lucas showroom across India and they've mentioned the list over here the buyback policy is subject to the approval of our quality checking team it means the quality checking team will check if everything is good and then they will come up with the price they haven't mentioned any certain percentage that we will be getting for buyback and here you can see that there are a lot of stores in India city and state wise moving on to the next store I will be talking about IBJA they have mentioned the standard Amazon literature but if you look closely they have mentioned the buyback and exchange policy in a PDF format under the product details so when you click on this something like this will open and here are the terms and conditions for the buyback and exchange policy the three important points that you need to know are that the gold or silver coin will be accepted for exchange or buyback at the showrooms so I think you need to be there and your old coin will be accepted after examination from damage weight and originality so these are the factors and the rate will be IBJA gold prevailing gold buying rate on the day of exchange and buyback and for the payment options you can get it through check RTGS or NEFT only that is decent so an exchange can only be initiated within seven days from the date you purchased it so the buyback facility can only be availed after seven days of your purchase and for buyback they have mentioned that the valuation will be less than the exchange value that is true since for exchanges you generally get more than for buybacks and they have also mentioned that an additional deduction will be made on the exchange value of gold or silver coin and bar so for bullions they have more deduction making charges and taxes will be completely deducted so that brings up to the spot price and if they wish they can withdraw or modify their policy so I'll show you the silver that IBJA has to offer and they have the same policy I guess since there's not much information about that as well next I will be moving on to Kundan so Kundan provides buyback at the existing rate of gold silver at deduction of GST and making charges in all cases the current market value will be determined by Kundan so it means spot price minus GST minus making charges as per their Amazon listing but I wanted to make sure by going to their website and I found out over here they have mentioned something else it said Kundan provide buyback at the existing rate of gold at deduction of 1% tax so spot price minus 1% of tax while on Amazon they have mentioned spot price minus GST minus making charges I am not sure which one is the right one but before making a heavy purchase I suggest you contact them directly and ask them what's up so if you want to avail the facility in the future you know what exactly the thing is I did not want to ask them up because by the time I make a video if something changes then it would look bad moving on to the next brand I searched for Malabar gold and diamonds and here they mentioned that buyback is as per Malabar gold and diamond store policy so I directly went to the website I like the way Malabar gold and diamonds mentioned about their buyback policy since they said that you can only avail it after 14 days of the purchase and buyback can be done by returning the product to the registered address of malabargoldanddiamonds.com so directly to their registered address I think this is the address or maybe this is customer service but in Mumbai and you can visit and return the product to any of their stores as well so that is clear here is the table which explains about the value that we can get on gold coins since Malabar gold and diamonds only sell gold coins over here you can get 98% value of the benchmark gold rate so 98% value of the spot price obviously that means excluding making charges and taxes well that's what all jewelers or all the stores are doing and that is how it works in general and also note that the buyback policy is subject to the approval of their quality check team so they need to check if everything's intact and that is how they will be giving you the right price finally I will be talking about coin bazaar 
on their website they've mentioned lifetime buyback so if you scroll down and you go to delivery and return here they've mentioned the buyback policy and the buyback process to sell the coin back to them you need to raise a request on this email address along with the copy of the invoice and picture of the coin you want to sell they just want to see if everything's intact and upon verification they will further guide you the process states that you will be getting 4% less than current market rate so that is 96% of spot price and they have mentioned that you need to courier your parcel with the original coin bazaar bill on their address and when they receive the parcel they will transfer the amount in your bank account so that is simple and if you're wondering it's for this mmtc product i've checked a lot of products like mmtc silver and i also checked platinum and they had the same terms for each of the product but if you're going to be buying something from coin bazaar i suggest you scroll down and check this delivery and return tab and check their buyback policy if there's something different if you enjoyed the video make sure to hit the like button comment what you thought about the video and if you have any suggestions and do subscribe since i'm only 40 subscribers away from reaching the 5000 subscribers mark and in the end do not forget to hit the bell icon for notifications thanks for watching